Hello and welcome to Scots United, where I, Scott, and my team of Scots, who are also me, bring you the latest in movies, television, and popular culture. Well, here we are, still in the thick of things, but we've got each other, we've got books, we've got TV, movies, uh, you know, we got Zoom, uh, we got, you know, home exercise, baking, I don't know. We're, we're, we're making do. We're doing okay with this. The weather's changing. You know, the, the, the days are warming up. We, we got to look on the bright side. I, for one, I'm thankful for my family, who I had a lovely uh, big group Zoom call with on Friday night. And uh, if you're watching, love you. So, and more, more to come. Now then, we are here, though, to talk about TV and movies, usually, because popular culture is consumed right now by the coronavirus. And that's okay. Because we're going to make it. So, let's talk about some good options for you to watch right now. And start with something on Netflix. So, it's a little wintry today, Scott. It's a little bleak. And, you know, if, if we're talking bleak, we might as well talk Ozark. Yeah, some redneck realness. Yes. Oh, ooh, wait. Sorry. I, uh, I mean, hill people realness. Hill people. That's the uh, correct term, I believe, that they prefer. Now, this is a show that has been on my radar, of course, because it's, you know, it's award-nominated. It's won some awards. Um, I love the people that are in it. And, but this is one of those shows that I knew might be a good watch for me and Dad together because we don't, we don't, you know, we don't eclipse on everything. But I usually have a pretty good idea of what might work. And it's worked. Go, Dad! Full disclosure, we've only seen the first two seasons. We just finished the second season. I know the third is out. Could the third be terrible and be a real step down in quality? Sure, it's possible. I doubt it, though, because the show is smart. It's tight, but it is bleak. It is bleak and it is dark. And uh, when you binge it, you know, I mean, we haven't been watching multiple episodes, maybe two, one night here and there, especially when it's the end of a season. But still, it can get under your skin a bit. Like any good, intense drama should. And honestly, we need to talk about, I mean, it is truly Shakespearean at this point. I mean, and I really think intentionally so. I made a joke about, you know, it being like, you know, Macbeth and Lady Macbeth. And honestly, as it's developed, I mean, Laura Linney is giving us some full Lady Macbeth realness here. Um, because she has, you know, I mean, the... The, the depths they need to go to, the corruption of the soul, the, you know, the, the making excuses, and, and maybe we'll, we've already begun to see, maybe we'll continue to see sort of the deterioration of, of their family, of their lives, of their sanity. Um, I think that would be expected and interesting, and I think they'll do a really good job with it, because I think everything so far has been handled well. And I, I mean, I've loved... I've loved Julia Garner since she was on The Americans, she was in Maniac, she was in Dirty John, she's great, Bateman's great, Laura Linney, of course, uh, you know, the, the Snells, the, 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 the Langmore, I mean, every, everybody. There's a, it's, a, it's a really strong cast. Julia Garner winning the Emmy. So excited. You can't deny the strength of the female characters in this show and their complexity and their resilience and... Their ability to go toe-to-toe -to -toe and dictate terms as well as anyone else. Um, it's a great show. And really, if you haven't got on board or have been putting it off like I did for a time, for good reason, nonetheless, now is the time. Jump in. So, yes, worth your time. Check it out. Can't speak for season three, but I'm sure it's good. I mean, it might not be, but at least the first two seasons, super worth it. And now, another TV offering, this time something brand new that just recently started. Margo and I, we just finished watching Mrs. America on Hulu, or FX, I can't decide, but we watched it on Hulu. It's a period piece, right, starring Kate Blanchett, have you seen the ads? Kate Blanchett as Phyllis Schlafly, uh, Rose Byrne as Gloria Steinem, it's got Sarah Paulson, it's got Margo Martindale, it's got Uzo Aduba. It's got uh, uh, Slattery from Mad Men. I mean, it's got, the cast is stacked. Oh, and Melanie Linsky's in it, too, who we've loved since Heavenly Creatures way back in the 90s. Um, you know Melanie Linsky. If you don't think, I don't know who that is, you do. When you see her, you're like, oh, her, look her up. Google it, because she's fantastic. It's starting right 
at the time in the 70s when they're trying to pass the ERA, the Equal Rights Amendment. Um, Schlafly starting the conservative women's sort of movement against it. Um, you know, and I've only watched the first episode. So do I know how it develops? No. But, I mean, Kate Blanchett, how can you go wrong? You can't. So far, it's it's balanced. It's interesting. I think it'll get into some really complex and nuanced debates over sort of both sides of of the argument, with um, you know with the both conservative and liberal sides on it. Uh, Tracy Ellman's already also in it as well. Tracy Ellman, God, this cast really is stacked. And there's already just some really beautiful moments with with Kate Blanchett's character, with Phyllis Schlafly, just seeing as much as she's on this conservative side, you still see how she's been excluded, how she's been treated differently, how she is treated differently, and the things that are just part of a woman's role at that time that they're portraying. So I'm really curious to see how it develops and where it goes. It's really well done. So Mrs. America, worth your time, another great show. Well, we it, great beginnings, and I think great endings, we hope. Fingers crossed. Not every show it is. Uh, just a quick shout back to... Uh, we've been watching Devs still, and I don't know. Uh, I haven't enjoyed as much as I really wanted to, just as a quick little throwback, callback to uh, a few episodes ago. But not every show is what you think it'll be. And maybe it'll end really strongly. Uh, we'll be doing a recap of the things we've watched and finished uh, soon enough. But for now, we are done. We are complete. And I would like to thank you for joining me one more time for Scott United. And we will be back next week with more reviews, more things worth your time. And uh, we will see you then.